Today, we're going to do something different. Instead of investing, you can run your own project. I run my own project. It's quite of a success. We're sitting steady around the $6 million market cap and the utility is extremely good. And a lot of people, they would like to know, how can I build my own project? So that's what we're going to dive into today's video. So if you already feel like, oh, I'm going to like this, like it, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on, and let's get right into it. Before you start, you want to ask yourself some questions like creating the token itself is done within two minutes. That's the most easy part. And that might feel like the most exciting part because then you have your own token. But if you play, how do they say that? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that's exactly what it is with creating your own token as well. First, you want to ask yourself, do you want to create a token? Like a lot of people, they feel like, oh, it's fun to create a token. But if you know what comes with it and how much money it will cost you and like how much time it will consume, then you might want to rethink it. So rethink, like, do you really want to create a token? It's not for everybody. And it says right here, meme token. It probably says in the title and the thumbnail as well, meme token. Why did I say meme token? Well, no offense to anybody, of course, but I do think that the people that know how to create an actual utility token don't need this video in the first place. They already step ahead, right? So, but the people that just sitting there and be like, okay, I want to do something and I can create a hype, but I just don't know how it works. Then this video is for you. And a meme token is pretty easy, right? Because you do not need to come up with some utilities or, or, or things, or you don't need to be a developer of some kind of an AI project or develop games or building lame ones and shit. You can just come up with something stupid and it will, uh, it's possible that it will work. But I also want to let you know, most coins, they fail. If you, for example, look at the biggest hype at the moment, which is Solana meme coins, right? You have this page on CoinGecko and, you know, there are a handful of coins that really succeeded, that did really well. Some are doing okay and most are not even getting there. Others, they just don't are like they, they are listed, but eh, nobody gives a shit. And that's just the page that's listed. Right, so a handful does well, but look at this. If you go to Dex Tools and you go to New Life Pairs and you have to select it in this case on the Solana chain, right? And you look at New Life Pairs. Look at how many coins are being made. This is just from the last 10 minutes, right? This whole list. So you can imagine how extremely many coins are being listed like every day or every hour, every minute. Right? There are so many Solana coins out there. It's not that you think like, hey, Solana is uh, doing well. Meme coins are doing well. If I make Solana meme coin, it is doing well. Like it's a handful as well. But that's compared to the 10 coins every fucking 10 minutes that are being made. So if a new coin is being made every minute, yeah, then you know that there is a lot of concurrence, competition, <laughs> you say that, and you really want to stand out. So that's that. But then you have to ask, why do you want to create a meme coin? Why do you want to do it? Most people, unfortunately, want to do it in the hope that a lot of people buy the coin and they themselves have a good bag and they can dump, aka to scam and rock people. If that's your intention, stop. Just stop it. One, it is probably not even going to work. Two, you should be arrested. Go to jail, asshole. That's not what crypto is meant for. Crypto, <laughs> I don't need to explain you what crypto is meant for, but it's not for some loser sitting at the edit, uh, making meme coins to rock people because they are too lazy to get an actual job. Uh, I, I despise such like these people and we should not have these people around. Good reasons could be like, hey, I have an incredible idea and I want to work it out. It could be that you're super creative could also be that you already have a community, right? And that you feel like, I want to do something cool for my community. It could be that you feel like, hey, I have a lot of money and I'm willing to invest in my own long-term project to make it a success. It could be any good reason. 
but go for the good reasons. Don't don't go with the bad reasons. Then you're just then you just suck. Next, you want to find out for yourself what chain is it gonna be on. The BNB chain was in 2021. This shitcoin chain, of course, uh, it's fast, it's cheap, it's easy, uh, it's most mainstream. Actually, you can also feel like, yeah, I'm gonna do it on the Ethereum chain because I want to have a good reputation for my coin, and there's a lot of money on the Ethereum chain. You have to understand that the people in your community or the potential people in your community should be the people that have more than than you know just fifty dollars because that's what it will cost to only buy or sell the coin right so you have to have a rich community to put it like that you could also again look at solana one solana is hot right now two you need to understand solana so there's this website it's called defi llama and on DeFi Llama, you can look at the chains and the, the total value locked on these chains. Now, if you look at Solana, for example, and you look at the total value locked, you could see that that's at the moment $4 billion, right? Well, at the top of the previous run, it was close to $10 billion. So the total value locked on Solana is now not even halfway there. But Solana is almost already sitting at an all-time high. That tells me like, hey, if more activity is going on on Solana in the coming months and it goes back right here, then it could be that the Solana price is doing very well. What does that mean for your coin? Well, if your coin is paired with Solana, then it means that your coin is automatically going up if Solana is going up as well. So the potential is really there. So if you feel like, hey, I want to have a coin that automatically have a good price potential, build it on a chain that has a lot of potential. Then you want to also, of course, think about the utility. Now, the utility is uh, for a meme coin not that hard, right? Because usually meme coins don't have utility and it all depends on hype. If you somehow have a talent for maintaining hype, which is really hard, then a meme coin could be a success for you. If you just feel like I make a stupid picture on Canva and I hope it goes viral, good luck. It's probably not going to work out. Um, if you look at my coin, for example, I have a utility coin, right? I, I, I made a project that where we invest in crypto startups, lunch pads, IDOs, ICOs, just pre-sales um, with collective money. And that money that we make from these pre-sales is going to the people that stake our coin, basically. And we're burning the coin. So that's our utility. Also a pretty simple utility, but very efficient. There are millions of utilities that you could think of. But if you feel like, hey... I'm not uh, some kind of a trend catcher. I'm not great at building hype or anything, but I also don't know what kind of utility I should build. Then, then also just skip it, right? These are the most important parts. Like, uh, don't come at this video and be like, well, at, at 10 minutes, it really starts. No, this is where it really starts. This most important, how to make your coin. It's every idiot can do that, but this is the hard part. Right? This is what makes it all success. If you cannot do this, you should not make your coin. I want to make it very clear. Apart from that, the utility could be anything. Don't think within crypto. Think about the utility first and then look how you can combine crypto with it. So, um, which for example, if you are a, I don't know, a software developer, right? You can create a software tool, for example, that people can use. And if the product is awesome and people want to use it, then you could be like, hey, I want to make a coin. And with that coin, you can pay for the software, for example. Then your coin has utility, of course. But don't come with the coin first and then think like, okay, what's the utility going to be, right? The best marketing is product. That's by far the best marketing that you can have right? My coin as well. I, I actually don't market it. And it's having a way higher market cap than some coins that I see that are spending thousands of dollars on marketing. Um, so utility comes first. Now, you also want to think about the tokenomics, right? The tokenomics are very important. Now, this is where you already start planning, actually. And what do I mean is... If you, for example, have a community already, you could be like, okay, I have a community. I have a great idea. Every, every box is checked, right? The only one that isn't checked is capital. 
because not everybody has money. And also, if you somehow have, there's no standard rule, but let's say less than 20K at least for liquidity, then don't do it, right? Otherwise, if you don't use a lot of liquidity, one person can buy it all up. And even if it becomes a success, these people can dump it anyway and your coin is ruined. Okay, so you want to have good liquidity. If you don't have capital for that, but you do have a community already, you can choose to make a pre-sale, right? Host a pre-sale, gather the funds, use that partly for the liquidity. Then you have to think like, okay, what are the tokenomics going to be? You want to have an initial market cap in mind, and therefore you want to set a price. And that price determines on what your initial market cap is going to be, plus how many tokens there are, right? So first think about, hey, you know, I have 10 people that want to get in my coin problem. Well, don't set an initial, an initial market cap of a million dollars. That's not going to work. If you have uh, potentially a thousand people that want to be in your project, don't set an initial market cap of like ten thousand dollars, right? Do it like that. Um, that way, you can also think to yourself like, "Hey, I want to spend this much coins to the pre-sale because they are worth that much, and I'm probably gonna raise that." I want to have some maybe some team tokens. I want to have a little treasury for the utility or, or whatever, or CX listings. Uh, I want to have some money raised for the liquidity. I want to, you know, there are all kinds of different things that you can choose from. Example, this is again my project and I was like, this took most time for me. Um, you could hire somebody who can do this professionally for you. Uh, that's definitely possible, but if you want to do it yourself, you can. I was thinking about this for a long time. My initial market cap was $30,000. So the listing price was uh, this right here because that's based on the initial supply that I had. And I said, hey, this much is going to the pre-sale. And you really want to think about that. You really want to think ahead. Like you cannot say like, yeah, 80% is going to the pre-sale because then there is no buying pressure at all on the open market. So everybody buys it in the pre-sale and everybody gets the tokens and probably dumps their tokens. So who the hell is going to buy it from the open market? So you want to make it, yeah, maybe not even enough, right? Leave some buying pressure, right? Leave some buying pressure. So this is what we did. Okay, you, you can look at this and be like, okay, I'm going to copy it because I think I have the same audience as you do, then you can do that. But think to yourself, what are the tokenomics going to be? It's very important, okay? And if you miscalculate one little thing, you have to do it all over again. So this is really <laughs> the hard part, uh, if you ask me. Then you already want to think about marketing, okay? You want to get the token out there. Like I said, maybe you already have a community, that's fine. But maybe you don't and you want to be a little creative. Maybe you have a great utility. Reach out to maybe some lunch pads, right? Lunch pads are not meant for pumping and dumping your token. Lunch pads are actually meant for introducing people to your token, right? So don't get, give them too much. Um, if I see a good project on a lunch pad, but I just get $500 allocation and I feel like, fuck, but I like that project, then I will actually probably buy more on the open market. If I get $10,000 allocation, I'd be like, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let's dump it if I'm in profit, right? But again, I want to repeat very clearly, good product is the best marketing you could ever have. Like, like I said, my project steadily sitting at a $6 million market cap. We went to eight or nine or something like that. And we just began basically almost zero marketing. And the marketing that we did was more like, eh, we, we tried a little bit of this. We tried a little bit of that. Um, but it was like, not was growth hacking was, we didn't do it actually, but we have a good utility. So the marketing all automatically happens then creating the actual token at a certain point you want to create the token and it only goes live on the market as soon as you add the liquidity to it so there are multiple ways you can choose to do it yourself or you can choose to hire someone who's professional the one that developed my token is zach from revolution 
you can contact him. Okay. Um, this is his Telegram name. You can contact him. He will do it professional for you. He will make everything according to what you want. But keep in mind, you have to pay for that. And it's not cheap. And that's understandable because it's a lot of work. You could also say like, hey, I'm going to do it myself. And now we're going to do the newest thing ever. But it works. You go to Cointool, right? Cointool.app is, for example, such a standard tool that you can use. It could also be done on pink sale, I think. Um, and here you can create your own token. So here it says create token and you can choose the chain that you want to build it on. So let's say Solana right here. You have to connect your Phantom wallet or your Solana wallet, whatever. And here you have to fill everything in. So the name of the token, the symbol of the token, what it's about, upload a logo. Also hire somebody for that unless you are a good developer yourself, right? But make it like professional, okay? Uh, even with a meme coin, it has to be professional because you can just like take a logo from Canva or Google, but you can never make multiple uh, versions of that, of course. So if you create it yourself, the sky's the limit. Then you can here, of course, also choose uh, to have multiple options. You can also choose to make a tax token um, so that you can say like, okay, we have a 5% tax and that's going to that wallet and we're going to use that wallet for marketing or development or whatever for the team. You can do it like that and then you can create it here. It will cost you around half, half a Solana. So that's like $100, super cheap, super cheap. But again, the platform is the one that created the token, right? So you can not, it's not yours actually. Um, so, you know, think before you just go into here and do it because uh, you are throwing your money away if it, if it goes wrong, of course. Now, your token is out there. Um, you add the liquidity, like I said, add enough liquidity, just do that. And then the struggle really begins, actually, because you'll notice that, hey, I want to get it listed on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. That's sometimes a pain in the ass to do. You want to build a good website. Hey, you can, you can all do it yourself. You can all, everything you can do it yourself. You can use Canva, you can use Quintel, you can use like GoDaddy for a website, you can use whatever, right? But I can guarantee you that the coins that are really a success are not being so template made like that, okay? But if you want to, you can. But again, you need a website, you need a hype, you, you just need a lot of, you know, creative stuff to happen right there. But this is how you actually make it if you want to make it, right? But the biggest tip, again, use your creativity, use the best intentions that you actually have. And then, you know, also together with the website, set up a Twitter account, set up a Telegram account, uh, hire somebody that knows how to handle these Telegram bots, set up a Discord account, set it all up, have good logos everywhere, have some, you know, maybe some room to do some giveaways. It's a lot of thinking ahead. And if you do not think ahead, you'll be like, shit, we haven't done that. Shit. We don't have tokens to do this. Shit, we don't have money to do that. Um, it's really hard. So again, if you watch this video, I hope most of you feel like, fuck this video, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I don't need my own token. But the people that do, I hope you have some good plans and good intentions to do so. Now, please, by the way, don't come at me on Telegram or email like, hey, I created my token, but I need help. I'm not for that. I don't have the time for that. Sorry, I, I, I appreciate you reaching out to me for that, but I got so many requests for that. Um, it, that, that that's not what I'm doing. I just want to show you how you do it according to my knowledge, but I'm not even a developer myself. So let alone uh, a real deal, like... I can already, I can give you the basics, dude. Um, I hope you do something good with it. You also, of course, want to understand the market. 
there will be a time in the market where shitcoins absolutely explode here and there in 2021 we had super space come rocket fuck floki moon ever and elon uh, fucking fuck face or something right make a coin that's called like that i'll give you a hundred dollars for your liquidity <laughs> but there probably will be a time in the market for that as well therefore i'm making this video right now because um there will be coins that do succeed and if i can contribute a little bit to that then that's very awesome of course um and if you are here to scam man, then then you know burn in hell <laughs> that's all i can say man for now please like the video subscribe to the channel turn the bell notification on if you want to see more of this content let me know it's something different than usual but i felt like man let me talk about it on this channel as well uh for now take care